about what's going on. So, the year is 1944. Europe is at war, and the Germans have occupied the whole of Europe and France. And now the Allies have been gone in to send, to send the Germans away to recapture France and liberate it. All right? So, I'm basically over here to look around to see if we have anybody over here who wants to volunteer to fight in the war, fight for America. Ah, first volunteer, give a round of applause, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What's your uh, American name? Shirley. Ah, I say it. That's nice. Shirley the Sassy, I say it. Yeah, that's it. Shirley the Sassy. All right. Now, first volunteer. Anybody else want to volunteer to fight for America? Oh, excellent. I don't want to volunteer to fight. Oh, oh, maybe I should have said, uh, uh fight. Who wants to, who wants to fight for Britain? Ah, better. Excellent. Yes, so fine. Ah, no. Them British don't know what they're doing. The Americans know what we're doing, right? Excellent. <laughs> well, uh, anyway. Yes, everybody. So, good day. My name is Gareth, and um, I've been asked to do a little demonstration for you all. So here I am, and I thought that I would show you all my World War II things. So I bought a, little, a few surprises. It will only take about 10 minutes uh, of your time, and um, then you can get on with the meeting, all right? Sorry. <laughs> all right, so what have we got on the first in itinerary? Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. So while I was on campaign in Normandy, which was uh, the Great Front World War II, when D-Day was launched, a great invasion of France to liberate it from the Germans. And uh, I managed to capture a few things. Uh, let's see what I have. Ah, oh, look what I found. I found this from a German, yes, a German POW. He, uh, he had surrendered, and I got to take his helmet. He had no idea where his helmet was, so... Anyway, and I thought that very interesting. This is a uh, good comparison to compare the uh, German helmet with the American helmet. As you can see, there's a few differences, but essentially these were the two best helmets of World War II. The British were still using their World War I helmet and um, a little bit outdated, so the Germans and the Americans have, I say, the best helmets in World War II. And you can even take a look over here, the inside of the helmet. The liner is also a little bit different, made out of leather. While the good old G.I. Joes chose to go with uh, fiberglass and canvas. And uh, the Americans also were a bit innovative and covered their helmets in a net for better camouflage. The Germans would only catch on later. So that's why the Americans are the most advanced, all right? Ah, take your word for me. <laughs> and uh, also captured another uh, thing. Where is it? Uh, oh, 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 yes. Ah, look at this beauty that I found over here. Ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, because um, I sometimes need weapons for my historical outfits, I make them out of Lego. And uh, then I can do demonstrations, because uh, it's way too expensive to get the real ones. But um, I also wanted to make it look bright, so it's not uh, too intimidating. So anyway, over here, you've got a good demonstration between the German weapons and the American weapons, right over here. So back in World War II, these are the days when the world was still transitioning from World War I weapons, like single-action rifles. And um, World War II, they started innovating and using submachine guns, which were very high firepower weapons, which is why World War II is one of the deadliest conflicts in all of history. And so the German weapon is uh, held like this, 
and it's uh, quite a nice, neat little thing, but, uh, of course, the American weapons are better as always. Oh, that's better, yes. Like that. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, what else did I have? Oh, yes, this, oh, yes. When I was um, touring France after we captured Normandy Beach and uh, on the way to Germany, I uh, picked up a few things. Uh, oh, here we go. The flag of our great, uh, oh, I like Britain. Uh, great Britain. Uh, Britain, it's not great, all right? It should be called Great, great America. Britain. Uh, all right, fine. Great Britain, this is their flag. <coughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the flag of Britain, one of the major powers of World War II. And of course, as I showed you, here is uh, America's great flag as well. Much bigger and mightier, yes. Ah. Uh, uh, we needed Britain just as much as they needed us, so forgive that. <laughs> and um, also, I have them here with me. Whoever here can guess which flag this is? Russia, yes. This is Russia's flag, the Soviet Union. They were also a major power in World War II, but they kept the Germans occupied on the east. And um, fighting a two-front war was a great advantage to the Allies. And um, the Soviet Union played that part. Did you know that in World War II, the Soviet Union had the most casualties? They had, uh, um, oh, there we go. There we go. In the Battle of Stalingrad alone, which is the biggest battle in all of history, as well as World War II, of course, the Germans lost about 800,000 people, and the, the Soviets lost about 1.2 million in just that one battle alone. So you can understand the Soviets had the highest casualties of World War II. And uh, the last but not least, my greatest foe, well, at least my brother fought in the Pacific, it's his foe. Who can guess which flag this is? Japan, yes, this is the flag of the Empire of Japan. And uh, the Empire of Japan had uh, similar interests. They were also going on a great conquest of uh, East Asia and the Pacific. And so they decided to create a pact with Germany and they were known as the Axis, as well as uh, Italy, but uh, who knows what Italy did really, they, they didn't do much. <laughs> oh, all right, fine, they gave us a lot of, uh, a lot of a trouble in, uh, in Sicily, all right? The invasion in 1943, but uh, we don't have Italy's flag, unfortunately. And of course, there were many other powers, but I just thought I'd show you a few of the flags that I had. So here we are. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, what else have I got on the itinerary? Oh, yes. Oh, I've got that. That's it. Uh, does anybody have a spare chair for me? Ah. Oh, oh, man. The British are so kind. Oh, my God. Oh. No, no. Uh, let me tell you. I've got something for you, madam. Uh, uh, how about a nice victory cigarette? Yes, that looks like you could use one of those. Yes, ma'am. That's how you do it in America. Yes, exactly. Yes. Where's the chocolate? Chocolate? Oh, um, uh, 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 I ate that. Sorry. Um, uh, I'm wearing those, supposedly. Um, trust me, it's really cold in France. Um, and a good old American uh, uh, nudge on the shoulder. Uh, that, that's it, thank you. Uh, anyway, then why it's not a real pipe. It's not a real cigarette either. It's <laughs> rolled up paper. Then you can smoke it. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's just a prop. <laughs> Probably noxious. Ah. Uh, maestro, uh, hit the music, thank you. Ah, thank you. And to end off this uh, lovely presentation and uh, this lovely morning with you all, I thought I'd play you with uh, a tune on one of my beautiful instruments that my, my grandmother gave me back in uh, Tennessee. Oh, she's a wonderful lady. She gave me her beautiful piano accordion. So I thought that... Uh, thank you, thank you. I thought that I'd play you a tune, huh? How's that? How about that, my folks? Would you like a tune? Yes. Ah, all righty. We love it. We love it. What type of tune should we start off with? A German song? An American song? You know, you want to choose American song. That's an English one. Or we could do a, an, Eng an English song, yes. Lily Marlene. Oh, Lily Marlene. Oh, <laughs> the German songs, yes, yes. Did you know that um, in World War II, Lily Marlene, yes, was a German song, but it caught on so much with the Allies that they listened to it just as much as the Germans. That um, Minister of Propaganda in Germany 
uh, Dr. Goebbels tried to uh, uh, censor that song, but it was so popular with the German army that he had no success with that. Uh, it was even a great favorite of Rommel as well. Oh, Rommel gave us trouble in Africa. Uh, he's a mighty fine, good general. If only he was the, the hero of Germany, then Germany would have won. I'll tell you what. Let's start off with another song. I'll get back to Lily Marley, and I still need to remember where I played it. So, how about a, a, a American song? American song, or a British song? American. Yeah, I heard American. Yes, I heard it somewhere. Alrighty, American song. Great. <laughs> a lovely little song from uh, the American Civil War back when uh, well we fought ourselves in the 1860s but uh, it's a good old tune all right uh, how about a uh, um, how about a uh, French song you guys like the French song to acknowledge the people that we're liberating right now yes. all righty let's do it It's a very old, um, an old piece. I need to fix that one key. You hear that? Oh well, whatever. <laughs> the GI Joes make a plan no matter what. All right. So uh, I think uh, last we had, we still haven't done uh, Germany. We still haven't done Britain, uh, we'll and also meet Russia. Again. How about we'll meet again? Oh, uh, oh, I can't play that, but I'll try okay. a little more lane then. How about that, a German song? <laughs> haven't done Russia as well they've you know we never saw the Russians much but they helped us just as much as uh, we they needed and uh, if it wasn't for them we would have lost the war so how about a Russian song all right Thank you. 
Thank you both very much. All right, all right. We'll end off with the British song, all right? <laughs> no, South African song. Yeah, I like that better. Let's play South African song. But I'm sorry, but we'll get to you, all right? We'll get you eventually. Okay, South African song. See if you guys kind of recognize this song. It's a real good South African classic. South Africans actually helped in World War II as well. They mostly helped the British, they were a Commonwealth nation. But um, nonetheless, the South Africans, we couldn't have done without them as well. <laughs> all right, fine. Now we'll do a British song, all right? See, you guys kind of recognize this good old uh, English song. <laughs> And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the meet. Thank you. And uh, don't forget to sign up for the war, right? I'll be back. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Gareth. Yes, yes. It's a great pleasure. Absolutely. Can you join us for tea afterwards? I do have to be going very soon as well. I'm so sorry, guys. But um, next time, I would love to do another presentation here. Maybe uh, I've even got caveman outfits as well, which you have been <laughs> Or even modern history, you know, something like that. <laughs> All right, thanks, Owen. Thanks.